I've said many times that I disagree with Styx Hexenhammer 666 on almost everything, but I still watch his videos because he does bring forth a, a different kind of perspective. And he also seems very well read on the subjects that he talks about. He seems to really know a lot about it. But recently he decided to chime in about gentrification. And I, I was just disgusted. And it's, it's the first time I've thought, well, maybe I should like unsubscribe. I mean, I already disagree with him on, on almost everything anyway, but this kind of takes that over the top. Check it out. And you know, you've heard of gentrification. Gentrification is basically too many white people, or, or in some cases like East Asians, moved in. And it's basically a term to create a negative connotation on an ongoing and positive process, which is, hey, the neighborhood improved. Yeah, they take an area that had people already living there, they kick everyone out, and then put buildings in there that are high priced instead they'll take a a neighborhood store tear it down and put up a condo and then sometimes nobody even moves into the condo it's just sitting there but they destroyed they kind of destroyed a neighborhood and you're just like oh it's making improvements you see, usually it has to do with white populations displacing other groups of people. Typically it is. Which is absolute nonsense, because if you got a movement of like affluent black or Hispanic citizens into an area that was lower class, technically speaking, economically, you'd have the same result. It would be gentrified, but the, you know, the diversity, the, the racial composition hasn't changed at all. No, but the demographic has changed. It's not just about people moving into a place it's about kicking everyone else out of a place and then moving something else in that's what's negative about it anything that was very particular about the neighborhood is destroyed in the process of this gentrification you seem like you're You'd be totally fine with what happened in Seattle when the Broadway Market, which was a, a collection of, of a bunch of different uh, small businesses, were all kicked out. It was one of the main hangouts in the, in the area. They are all kicked out and they put a giant QFC there instead. You know, well, you know, uh, it's a good thing, right? And there's another QFC just down the road. I don't even think it's a half a mile away. But they, they had to, to take over that other building because they, they really want... Man, everyone in the neighborhood hated it. But, you know, get rid of the gay section of Seattle and replace it with a QFC. Hey, it's, it's great. See, this is when your libertarianism gets in the way of seeing reality. So it really has nothing to do with race. Like, there are plenty of white populations, trust me, I've been part of them, uh, living in, you know, <laughs> East Tampa Trailer Park, uh, that do not have the money to move around anywhere and would be easily displaced if some rich people moved in next door. People don't get displaced because a neighbor moved in. People get displaced because the prices go up and they can't afford to live there anymore. People get displaced when they're kicked out of a place. You know, a handful of, like, black PhD-holding families could move in to one of these eh, predominantly white, like, trailer parks on the margins of some of these southern cities, and it would completely destroy the lives of those people. They would have to flee, and most of the time they got, like... They'd have to flee because someone rich moved into the neighborhood? You, you don't even get this at all, man. They got maybe 10 bucks to their name. They're the sort of, you know, their population things like the payday loans and stuff. I've been part of this before. I've actually lived under those conditions. We're not talking nice trailers either. We're talking... You may have lived in that kind of place, but you didn't have to flee because someone wealthy moved next door. Conditions that would be considered generally unlivable, on par with a third world uh, situation. I'm not making an exaggeration there. I don't really care where you've lived. I just care that you're getting the concept of gentrification completely wrong and, and why gentrification hurts neighborhoods. Gentrification takes anything unique about an area and squashes it. 